Hi, I'm Rex the Railfinner. Today we're going to be reviewing a 50 foot boxcar from Tyco. <sighs> I don't get paid enough for this. My car is decorated for Burlington Northern. The MSRP on these models range from huh to what? I got my model for 16 cents in a back alley deal. We'll start the model at 100 possible points. The car comes in a cardboard box with a cardboard insert to hold the model. Be careful as these boxes are susceptible to spontaneous combustion. Even in its burnt up state, this box should protect the model in storage and transport. The boxcar is an icon of American rarity. Except Tyco did it all wrong, because this boxcar never existed anywhere. A 16 cent model shouldn't have these issues, so I'm taking 5 points. The paint on this model is awful. It is not thin nor opaque. Because of this, the paint obscures all the detail that definitely exists. There are thousands of voids in every piece of lettering on the model, so I'm taking 5 points. Even the tiniest stencils are legible with magnification. The amazingly long list of separately applied details includes the brake wheel. The rest of the detail on the model is molded on, which is unacceptable for a model at this price range, so I'm taking 5 points. My model fell off the layout onto a concrete floor at no fault of my own. In this fall, the car's walkway was damaged. A model at this price range should be more durable, so I'm taking 5 points. The car comes with truck-mounted horn hook couplers. EW! I'm taking 5 points. The coupler on the A end is non-existent, which I don't understand. A model at this price range shouldn't have missing couplers, so I'm taking 5 points. The coupler on the BN has the same issue, so I'm deducting another 5 points. The car is equipped with plastic wheel sets. I don't have an NMRA standards gauge to test a wheel gauge, so I'm taking 5 points. I'm giving the model the benefit of the doubt, and assuming that all the wheels are out of gauge, so I'm taking 5 points. A common fix for the wheel gauge issue can be solved with one tool, a hammer. Just hit the wheel set with as much force as possible for the best results. Hmm, strange. It seems like my fix didn't work. I'm taking 5 points. Strangely enough, the car doesn't roll at all after this, which is unacceptable, so I'm taking 5 points. There is no body wobble. Let's see what we got. The car never existed in real life, so I took 5 points in the prototype accuracy category. The car's paint looked awful, most detail was molded on, and the model was not durable, so I took 15 points in the paint and detail category. The car came with horn hook couplers, which hurt my feelings. Both couplers were strangely missing, the wheels were allegedly out of gauge, my repair didn't work, and the car didn't roll, so I took a total of 35 points in the standards and operations category. That leaves us with a total of 45 out of 100 possible points, which would be a Z on a report card. This is a terrible model, so it deserves a green signal, as well as a correctly placed blue flag. I think Tiger did a great job with this model. If you're looking to fill up your trash can or scrapyard, I think you'll like it.